Captain, and they already have been spotted. Okay, artillery, please. I am yours. I am yours. Please. Please. Where, where can... Where do you want me to go? Ladies and gentlemen, my friends, what is going on? Welcome back to my channel and welcome to my first episode in 2021. No, it is not a solitaire battle or it's not battle, solitaire card game. What many of you wanted to see me uploading as my first video because this is what I did, I think, three or maybe even four years ago, I don't remember, time flies so quickly, when my graphics card completely randomly died on 1st of January, and I had to inform you somehow that it is going to take more than just a couple days to get new one, because it was during the hottest times of the cryptocurrency miners, so shelves were completely empty of graphics cards, and I wanted to inform you, I wanted to use something, and uh, a solitaire card came, you know, the built-in Windows card came, was the only thing my laptop was able to uh, run, uh, while recording something at the same time, so I did that, and it kind of turned into a meme, and now every single year you guys are expecting that. I don't know, maybe next year, let me know if you would like to see that. I don't have this for you, but I have one quite an interesting episode still, where I'm going to show you one thing what uh, most likely many of you did not know about one equipment unit in World of Tanks. I am talking about Spalliner, because um, like roughly one month ago, maybe a bit more time ago, one beautiful subscriber called uh, Bozidar uh, Vukic, Bozidar v Vukic, I hope this is how I have to say your name, said, Des, in my case, quite often Spalliner's seems not to work, since I take full RT damage. That I removed them from the tanks, cause there is no point, you know, they kinda seem like a scam, what do you think? I said, I will have to test it out, and this is what we did together with Pencilmate, Barados and Kylers, thank you very much fellow um, community members for helping me out, so what we did, we decided to go into the test room and test out once and for all if this ball liner actually works or how it works, uh, how much it helps and so on, and we discovered something what I didn't know about this equipment unit before. Now, on paper, it is one very nice equipment unit, especially for heavy tanks, and if you use it in the survivability slot, it gives you extra value on the top of that. I have received actually more and more questions about uh, should I use ball liner, when should I use it, uh, what other type of equipment units uh, should I use in my survivability slot, if any besides, you know, ventilation which gets boosted and uh, some other things. Because, you know, Spawliner gives you many good perks, depends what type of Spawliner you are going to use, uh, the overall idea is the same, just the numbers are different, and if you are using it in the correct slot or not, you know, uh, we have medium Spawliner, uh, we have heavy Spawliner, we have super heavy Spawliner, and uh, heavy tanks get survivability slot on the top of that, so extra percentage, but it gives you very many useful survivability features, so let's, uh, for example, look at our today's test, uh, subject uh, which I'm going to play live as well, E100, which can use the Super Heavy Spall Liner in the correct slot, in the survivability slot, so uh, it gives uh, my crew members extra protection, plus 60% extra protection, I guess it just adds a plus 60% extra hit points to my crew members, I think this is how it works, correct me if I'm wrong, mm, then minus 15% to stun duration, super useful, then minus 25% to additional or extra stun duration if the vehicle is already stunned, very useful useful as well, uh, extra protection to the ramming, minus 60%, and uh, the main thing why we are over here, what we are testing today is minus 60% to HG shell damage absorbed by armor. And the keyword over here is actually written down, it is politically correct, everything is politically correct absorbed by armor. This is what I didn't uh, think about before, this is what um, surprised most of us uh, actually about this equipment unit. What I mean by that exactly, ladies and gentlemen, let me just uh, show it to you, let me just carve it out for you and paint it red, so it is 100% understandable. And before we get in, of course, I'm going to say that uh, it is not scientifically, it is our testing over here, but our results were quite interesting and many times it confused us even more. How is that even possible? Like, it feels... Even this equipment unit has crazy RNG built into it, or I don't know, like, I honestly cannot explain some things what you're about to see. So, let's go. So, I'm over here together with beautiful Destination family members, uh, Kylers, who is in the other IS-7, uh, Bunzelmate in the 261, and Parados in the M44. 
359.69. So what we did was we lined up side by side as close to each other as possible. We turned even turrets. No, we are not kissing guys. Well, maybe, you know, it seems like it, but no, we are actually not. Anyway, we did couple tests. Um, we have identical IS-7s besides the fact that I have heavy spawn liner in the survivability slot and uh, Kyler's didn't. So this was the only difference I am carrying heavy spawn liner. Our first test was super simple. We tried to get as close as possible and they tried to hit both vehicles at the same time and uh, our artillery players were able to get some very good hits. But now it is time to shoot. First shot comes from 261. I receive 125 Kyler's uh, without spawn liner 278. Second shot from M53. Here it comes. I receive 174 Kyler's 238. So as I said, RNG, quite a crazy RNG is built into the rolls as well. We did a couple more shots, even crazier difference. You see 103 to me, 255 to Kyler's. And when M53 takes his shot, even bigger gap. Uh, take a look at that. 98 to me and 338 to Kyler's. So we did many more shots in this type of testing, uh, you know, just to lower the RNG. Maybe sometimes I uh, receive a closer hit uh, than Kyler's. Uh, sometimes Kyler's receive direct hit and so on, you know, just to lower the RNG. But it didn't matter what we did. All the time I received the less damage in this type of testing over here. So that testing was done. Success because it worked as intended. It worked as this. I received less damage. Next up, we loaded in two new vehicles, fresh vehicles, you know, fresh HP, and we did splash damage. And this is what surprised me, ladies and gentlemen. This is when I was... wait a minute. Did you see what happened? From the first shot, I received more damage than Kyler's. From the second shot, I received more damage uh, than the Kylers as well. They are hitting the wall behind us. And I'm receiving same or slightly more damage. This time, RNG, I guess, I won. I received slightly less damage. Then I noticed that Kylers was a couple centimeters a bit more forward than I was. Maybe that was the issue. So Kylers is going to back up or we both back up completely against the wall. Exactly the same distance as well. They are splashing in front of us into the ground. One shot, I receive less damage. Second shot, I receive more damage. And at the end, after some more testing in this type of scenario where artillery splashes to the same spot, to the same distance from two vehicles, one is carrying heavy spawn liner, one didn't carry, there was no difference. It came down to the RNG, who receives more damage this time, who rolls the better dice, you know, or who is one centimeter or two centimeters closer to the splash. Basically, it came down to that. Spawn liner had no effect when splashing against the wall, when splashing into the ground. And what do you think? What type of hits artillery get the most in the game? In my opinion, artillery misses and splashes you more than it actually directly hits you. So, hmm. Okay, we did one more test and over here I was like, okay, I give up. I don't understand. What we decided to test over here was, let's get close to each other and let's test what happens when you receive a splash damage, uh, which was a direct hit into the vehicle next to you. What happens after that? And take a look at this. They are going to take two shots into the IS-7 on the right side. Who doesn't have a liner? I do on the left side. No spawn liner, direct hit 362, spawn liner on the left side, splash 280, everything adds up. Everything makes sense, right? But take a look at the next shot. Almost the same position. We didn't turn any angles, we didn't turn our turrets, vehicles. No spawn liner. IS-7 with a direct hit. 244. Spawn liner IS-7 with a splash. Over 300 damage. 334. Almost 100 extra damage. <laughs> After that, couple more tests, like this shot, I received 377 with a direct hit, Kyler's received uh, uh, less damage while not having a spawn liner and with a splash, and then a couple other shots where everything was as intended. So basically, we were like, 
okay, maybe it just comes down to the RNG, and we went out in the most honorable way possible. One shot took out every single tank in the test room. Ladies and gentlemen, that was the test. Now let's test it in some live battles as well with E100. And here it is, here is my trusty E100 with a super heavy spawn liner mounted into the survivability slot which should add minus 60% to the HE shell damage absorbed by armor as well as ramming damage, extra protection to crew members from injuries, this is actually a very nice thing as well, a minus 15% stun duration, minus 25% uh, to additional stun ratio, uh, duration, this is very very useful, everything over here, so let's uh, jump into the battle, let's see how it works. Okay, we were lucky. <laughs> we were lucky enough to get into the same battle with two artilleries, ladies and gentlemen. Never have I ever believed that I say something like this. I am playing with E100 and I say I am lucky to be in the same matchmaking with artilleries. There is actually one more. I would have been even happier today if I ended up in a triple RT battle, but oh well, no such luck. And I believe I'm actually not even going to show you this battle because fun fact is we were not able to receive any shots because this battle ended up being in a way how we just didn't have a chance to receive any shots from artillery. But hey, um, I take 5.5k combined damage so I guess through the magic of editing let's jump into the next battle. Not a single artillery. The only time I want to see triple RT action, zero. And tier 8 battle as well. Well, good job, base has been captured and 5200 damage. Eh, not bad. And once again, we were lucky enough to end up in the same battle with two artilleries. And this battle, this map is actually super good because I know where those guys are going to aim. I bet they are going to aim uh, down into the canyon, at least. I hope at least one of those guys is aiming down into the canyon so we are able to see... Bloody hell, we are able to see how much damage I'm going to receive. Like, it should be in the 200 range, usually, you know, when you receive uh, shots, which is 60% less damage. Like, I think it should be around uh, 200 with E100. We'll see. We'll test it out, ladies and gentlemen. I will test it out for you. Oh, very be oh, very beautiful, guys. <laughs> it is so weird to say that. Very beautiful artillery is aiming over here. Both of them, I think, are aiming over here and... Uh, teammate is getting stunned. Uh, I got hit by Artie. Great. Well, what the hell did you expect? No! One enemy Artie is dead already. No way, dude. How did you die? Like, literal, dude. How did you die already? Come on, please. The, the one and only enemy artillery who is still alive. Please hit me, shoot me, hit me, shoot me. Do something to me. Do something to me, dude. I'm here, out in the open. Not even shooting your teammates. Well, not not at the moment, not currently, but I will if I have a chance, of course. Oh. Okay. And boom! Well, budget. I'm going to fix that. I think the enemy, I think the second art is not over here. Like, this angle is almost unpenetrable for those guys. Nice! Direct hit and 142 damage. Okay, direct hit 142 damage into the lower plate as well. Yes, this is HE shot into the lower plate. This is how I got tracked as well. Okay, lower plate HE shot, it works. Easy. Lower plate and HE shot, it works. Nice. Okay, I hope artillery is going to hit me again. No, beautiful, 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 beautiful. 268 version 4, enemy art is coming, or our art is aiming, 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 and boom, into the lower plate. Engine once again is damaged. Okay, arty, please shoot, please shoot, please shoot. No, shoot me. Engine is completely knocked out. Like, German engineering, it's fantastic. As long as they do not touch any engines, seems like it. What? That shot went into the oblivion. Honestly, where the hell did that shot go, actually? I love how my engine is... Okay, never mind. No, we got rushed down. But we're still going to win this battle. We're going to win this battle. It's just disappointed to see German engineering failing me that hard. 
But anyway, we received at least one hit and uh, lower plate frontally versus E100 is actually the uh, least armor place to hit and that shot was direct on, direct hit by artillery and we received, um, where is it, 142, so clearly, clearly that one worked with this shot right over here. If Arty would have splashed, Arty would have done more damage. Okay, we did it once again, ladies and gentlemen, and they already have been spotted. Okay, artillery, please. I am yours. I am yours. Please. Please. Where, where can... Where do you want me to go? Hmm. What are you doing? Hello. Hello. Boom. Yes. In the meantime, I'm still spotted. Like, please, Arty. Please, Arty. One shot. 69 damage. 429. This FE, dude, this, this guy doesn't learn. Hmm. I'm still in the arty shadow or what? Okay, I actually want to be over here and I want to be spotted. Hopefully the CBR is not going to leave. Let's destroy so this guy can actually see more clearly. Can you see me? I'm still spotted. Oh, this eyes free spots me. Nice, okay. I'm definitely still spotted. Come on, Artie, please shoot me, please shoot me. Artie. Yak Panzer. Turret angling works, guys. In this game, actually. Mm. Where do you need to go? I am. Sp I have been spotted again. Okay, I'm going to back up a bit more, maybe. Maybe Artie needs a bit more angle. Because this house is in, in the way, you know. Nice! Okay, 365. So, you want to say that I should have received over 500 damage, right? Uh, from tier... That was a direct hit as well, I think. So, that says I should have received over 500 damage. In moments like this, it seems like a scam. By the way, I just got 1k assistance randomly. Yeah, it's all me, guys. I, I knew. I knew. I knew about that. I knew about that. <laughs> no, I didn't. No, I didn't know about that. Oh, no, I just left that upper position. Okay, let's try to get uh, hit by... Let's try to get hit by RT again. And, well, that guy had fun. Okay, RTM over here, please hit me again. Please, please, please. Pretty please. 800. Well, hopefully you enjoy that. CS 63. Hopefully you do enjoy that. RT, please. Like two heavy tanks. Sorry, D34B, for drawing attention to you, but. You know. Dark times, dark matters. Or whatever the saying is. That guy is not going to do any shooting in this battle. Yeah, 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 yeah. I will be wherever you need me, artillery. I'm over here. Am I not spotted? Do you need to be spotted? Yeah, I think I'm not spotted. Hmm. That is the issue. Okay, you know what? I'm actually going down. Let's go down. Hopefully I get spotted. Maybe, I'm, maybe I can do some scouting, but over here I should receive some arty shots at least. Come on. Give me at least something, please. Normally, guys, I honestly would not play like this, but right now we are winning. I want to receive some arty uh, shots and I want to be a scouty 100. I do not want to get hit by Jagdpanzer, though. Okay, I have been spotted. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Come on, Arty, please surprise me. With something. Something juicy. Nice, that's... Okay, they both missed. So, this has no value, basically. They both missed. Surprise, Effie behind you. Oh, boy. No, Effie, why did you take the shot on the move, dude? Oh. Why did you take the shot on the move? Honestly. The third is coming. Let's go. I just want to run away from the Panzer. By the way, I bounced the Panzer. And casually, I bounced the Panzer, you know? Just what we do over here. And casually, Defender bouncing the shot. Just what we do over here, by the way. 
5,800 damage bounced, you know. Well, that guy is not doing any bouncing. Artillery splashed for zero. Artillery splashed for zero. Something to note. So, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, just what do you think? Does it work? How does it work? When does it work? Who does it work for? So many questions. We have so many questions. Okay, 256 hit points left. Because I feel so brave, I'm actually going in. Like, I would never, by the way, disclaimer, disclaimer, guys, I would never play like this normally. Of course, not. This would put my team um, into a disadvantage heavily when playing top tier heavy like this. Just, you know, we're winning. I'm able to be reckless because we are winning so big. And, you know, okay. That should give me an angle. Artillerists, please. I don't even shoot you. I don't even shoot you. Ah, never mind. Yeah, never mind. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, good job. Uh, what do you think about that? What do you think about that? Let me know in the comments down below and casu casually coming out with 6200 damage pounds. This actually shows how much E100 can forgive you. How forgivable tank E100 is. But this was my today's episode, a bit different one, kind of an experiment in World of Tanks. Uh, let me know what you think about that. Are you using it? Uh, where are you using it? I would say on a tank like E100, it is actually super, uh, it's actually super useful, can be super useful in many uh, situations, especially that crew protection and stun duration and all those things because it is slow, it likes to get stunned and so on. And I have received many, many zero uh, damage artillery hits as well, maybe because of this equipment unit maybe not uh, but um, I continue playing with it we'll see if I like it I continue playing with it if I don't like it I can switch it up you know this is what equipment 2.0 actually gave us uh, flexibility a bit more flexibility there are builds on many tanks this is actually the most positive thing about uh, equipment 2.0 on many tanks now there is not one set into the stone build there are many varieties of builds which can be useful that's the best thing but it also introduced many many like questionable things as well but hey that's a topic for another video beautiful people i hope you enjoy today's episode i really do hope so if you did thumbs up button is for that if you didn't thumbs down button is for that and if you like our stuff over here testing whatever we do over here hit the subscribe button notification squad Join the family, join the designation, beautiful people. 2021 is going to be amazing. Thank you for being part of it and much love. Stay awesome, stay sexy, stay naked. Take care and bye.